George Opari Pablo Ado is uh, also known as Pablo, is National Youth Organizer of the NDC. Um, Pablo, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. I have Salah Mustafa on the other line. He says that the election has been generally peaceful, uh, save a few skirmishes here and there that he has uh, talked about based on what he has picked up. What's your own assessment of today's uh, exercise? And the issue of the, uh, the macho men who were fighting that resulted in the discharge of a weapon, were those your boys? Um, Mara, let me greet your listeners and say a fun that none of our macho men or none of our boys went out there to fight anywhere. And if there was any discharge of any weapon, I can confidently tell you that it did not come from the NDC. Let me also say that this election has been very peaceful. I commend the police for their efforts. Yesterday, when we met the IGC, all the assurances they gave us, that has exactly happened, and we are grateful for what they have done. But truth be told, tomorrow, the NDC do not tell Ghanaians the truth with the kind of violence they unleashed today in our same process. We went to Prasu to do our usual monitoring on Google. A bus load, a Toyota Haze bus load of macho men on the side came out of their car, vandalized my vehicle, and attacked me. It was only the intervention of God. When they did it, they quickly stopped in their cars and sped up. We went to the police, lodged a complaint, and then quickly the police sent reinforcement. Just when I was leaving, I was also informed that that same group met my deputy communications officer along the line and also vandalized his vehicle. I also understand that when we left, they went back to assault our deputy regional organizer for the Volta region and also assaulted some young men at the polling station in France. That is what I can say. But those are isolated incidents. But how, but, how, but how do you know they are NPP members, those in the pickup or oh, the vehicle? Omaro, I can tell you why they are NPP, because earlier on in the day, uh, my daughter and chief Baini had reported a young man in military regalia at the Breku police station to the police. The young man was picked up. Apparently, he's a member of the NSO forces. He was in the care of intimidated people. It was after that incident that the other young men who I had to go around gave out my car number to the NSO forces. For them to come and attack me. When they came, they purposely came for me. They came asking where the Parado was, and then they saw my vehicle, saw the number, and came to me because I had four other vehicles ahead of me. They did not attack any of the vehicles. My vehicle was the last car, and they came straight to attack my vehicle. So they knew why they came, and from what we are picking, they came because of the arrest of their young man, of the young man that we got, uh, that we got picked up. So you said that the police has been involved, uh, things have been smooth, and yet you're also saying that there were these issues coming up. I'm trying to marry the two. At, at, the, at the police station in Prasso, there were six police officers, but they were not. When they, they, they started out, like the police tried to intervene, but they, their numbers were more than the police. But immediately we reported the police dispatched a whole set of other men to come there and then calm the situation. All right. Now, at the specific polling station where you are, what is happening? And, and, what, and what are the results you are receiving? <laughs> the NDC is clearly in the lead here in Greece. So there is pandemonium. Everybody is happy and excited. And people are already celebrating the victory of the space. I can tell you confidently that the space has retained its seat as a member of parliament for our sin of constituents. The NDC, MPP General Secretary has said that you were intimidating their voters and that their, their strongholds, there were gunshots, slapping of people and all of that. And these it were things that... It was their own people. It was their own people. It was in trust so that I was attacked by their own men. So if anybody was intimidating their own people, it was the NPP that ended up intimidating their own people and nobody else. All right, let me leave you here. Uh, that's uh, Georgia Pariado, his national youth organizer of the NDC, also known as Pablo.